skill I mean for now <clears throat> to start with so uh, this time the pattern goes like uh, <clears throat> through the major skill from my knot one two three four five C major skill the one we've been doing okay so instead of one two three four we'll be doing one Ascending, descending will be five, four, three, one. I okay, cannot do. So first, just ascending series.
okay then we go to the tenth fret of the second string then to the eighth fret of the first string then tenth fret of the first string then twelfth fret of the first string after that we go to the 12th fret of the 2nd string, 2nd finger, okay, 2nd finger, 1st finger on the 10th fret, 1st string, 12th, 2nd finger, 13th, okay, that's the fingers I use, okay, you can change it if you want to, some people have big fingers and some people have small fingers, so we have to kind of adjust, okay, there's no hard and fast rule, but you have to play it like this, then, is the last I think 13th on the second string second uh, finger then 12th fret first finger then 15th sorry 13th then 12th on the first 13th on the first 15th okay so and then same thing back now instead of <coughs> One, three, four, five. We we'll go five, four, three, one. Okay. same thing but uh, doubling the speed a little bit and uh, uh, doing an ascending and descending of the same thing one one three four five five four five four three one again so let me ask you how many steps do you need uh, to reach to the perfect fourth and the perfect fifth from any root note for example from C if you, if you want to count okay so let me tell you okay uh, it's two and a half for four for uh, perfect fourth and three and a half for perfect fifth okay those are the uh, two two and a half means two whole tones and a half semitone okay three and a half means three whole tone and a half semitone okay so let's not discuss this any further we have already done this in the previous lessons okay uh, let's uh, can we, uh, if you have a notebook uh, okay I'll give you some time this is important if you want to write it down so <clears throat> now write C okay now tell me what's the perfect fifth of C okay three and a half step away from C would be G okay C if, if you have your instrument it's more easier C the fifth is here G okay D, the fifth is here, A. Okay. So that's how the guitar is laid out the, uh, between the fifth and the sixth string. Uh, sixth string. So as I was telling you, 
the perfect fifth of C would be G. Okay, so write C, then write G. So what's the perfect fifth of G? Perfect fifth of G. It is D. Okay. What's the perfect fifth of D? It's A and so on. Okay. So if you've not written it, let me tell you. Okay, till F sharp will write. C, perfect fifth of C is G, perfect fifth of G is D, perfect fifth of D is A, perfect fifth of A is E, and perfect fifth of E is B, and perfect fifth of B is F sharp. Okay? So, having, having written that, now I want you to write C again. Okay, now we'll do the perfect fourths which will require us to count two and a half steps away. Okay, as I've told you again and again, a bit of theory is very uh, important, okay, at least at the basic level to help you understand certain things, okay, easily, to help you save time. So the perfect fourth of C is F, okay, so write F after C, the perfect fourth of F is B flat, right? B flat. The perfect fourth of B flat is E flat. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, write C. The perfect fourth of C F. The perfect fourth of F B flat. The perfect fourth of B flat would be um, E flat. The perfect fourth of E flat would be A flat. The perfect fourth of A flat would be D flat. The perfect fourth of G flat would be D flat. Okay, so. So let's uh, let me revise for you once the fifth C G D A E B F sharp the fourth C F B flat E A flat D flat G flat okay so notice F sharp and G flat at the end okay in harmonic notes so now we've been hearing about the cycle of fourth and cycle of fifth I guess. So I somehow managed to have it written by a friend, okay? Uh, because it shows rear an image. So here you go, I guess. Okay, you can take a snapshot. I'll be posting it in the comment section too, okay? Okay. Towards your right is your perfect fifth, uh, circle of fifth, and towards is your fourth. The circle of fifth goes like C, then uh, G, then D, then A, then E, then B, and F sharp. Now turn towards your left, go back to C. It's C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Okay? So how we start to use this is by remembering uh, uh, the keys, okay? And practicing it uh, like that. Okay, so if you see these numbers here, C, then I've written zero at the top. So one way to use the circle of fifth, okay, is to remember the accidentals in the in any scales, okay? which is the major scale for now so once you understand the major scale most of the scales are relative okay so you go once again c has zero accidental that means zero sharps and flats g has one sharp that is f sharp not mentioned it you should know it now d has two sharp that is f sharp and g sharp a has three sharps f sharp c sharp and g sharp e must have four sharps <laughs> F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and B has five sharps. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. And F sharp must have six sharp. I don't know what are those. <laughs> so let's go back to C here. Now, circle of fourth. The F major scale will have one flat, B flat. The B flat major scale says two flat, which means B flat and E flat. The E flat major scale will have three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. A flat will have uh, four flats, 
B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. So D flat will have five flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. And G flat will have six flats. Okay. So you can either write the scale of G flat in its in harmonic term, which is F sharp, or vice versa. Okay. And then now I have written here. Well, not I written. I met someone right here. Another circle. You see A minor, E minor. So think all of these are major chords like C major, G major, D major, or C major, F major, B flat major, E major, E flat major. Sorry. So under the circle, the letters are, as you must have already guessed by now, the related minors. Okay. The related minor of C is A minor. The related minor of G is E minor. The related minor of D is B minor. The related minor is A is F sharp minor. So if you go back to the circle of fourth, then it's related minor of F is D minor, B flat is G minor, C minor is uh, E flat is C minor, okay, and so on. So this is the basic uh, 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 basic uh, what do you call it uh, way to use the uh, circle of fourth and fifth okay later on we can discuss further things okay so there are a lot of images on google you can go ahead and take a print out i would suggest you keep it somewhere where you can practice so that you can see it every day while you practice okay thanks to my friend we can have it i can show it you like this okay so now what I would want you to do and what I will do <laughs> is I will practice this uh, patterns or scales in the key. I'll think like I'll practice in the circle of fifth or maybe circle of fourth. If I want to practice in circle of fourth, then C. in circle of fifth then G something like that okay, okay. and then comes D practicing in all the 12 keys okay and try to remember the uh, circle okay circle 50 is it's easy to remember once you memorize it C B flat uh, C F B flat E flat A flat uh, D flat G flat F circle of fourth might not have missed anything excuse me if I did Circle of fifth would be uh, C, G, D, A, E, B, 